Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mark Venturelli. I am half of the development team behind Relic Hunter Zero. And today I'm here to teach you how to make games, how to become a game developer. Uh, but actually, what uh, specifically what I'm trying to do is to let everybody know that Relic Hunter Zero uh, is an open source project, which means that anyone can take the code and do whatever they want with it. And throughout the video series of tutorials, I want to show you that even if you have zero experience with programming, with graphics, with game making, uh, you can make cool stuff, you can make interesting things, uh, not only modding Relic Hunter Zero, but also taking parts of Relic Hunter Zero's code and making your own stuff. So uh, today we're going to start really simple. I am going to teach you how to set up your project, how to download the project files uh, from our online repository and get everything ready, okay? So this is our website, this is roguesnail.com. Uh, in here you should find uh, not only info about our games and news and stuff like that, but also in the articles tab right here. You're going to find lots of different uh, articles about game development. Sometimes I'm going to talk about game design, sometimes I'm going to talk about uh, programming or art, uh, but there will be a, a lot of uh, tutorials about how to work with Relic Hunter Zero's code. So uh, I've had these for a while that uh, teach you how to download and use the code and how to make your own gun. Uh, we are going to redo both of these tutorials in video format and then from there we are going to do uh, other different things. So first of all we need to set up your Relic Hunters project so that we can work with the code. To do that we're going to come to GitHub. The link is in the description below uh, which it, which is github.com slash mventurelli slash relic hunter zero. So right here you're going to see uh, there are two important things for you to know. First one, uh, you can find the license here. So uh, what does relic hunters being open source means? Uh, it means that the game is for everybody to use and modify and share and uh, do whatever you want with it. You can uh, make your own commercial games, you can uh, you can literally replace all of the art and sound and stuff like that and make your own game with it. Uh, you can modify the game, make mods for Relic Hunters, make a new gun, a new character, a new enemy, things like that. New stages, new game modes, even. Uh, the gist of it, I, I tried to avoid lawyer speak while writing this license, so it's pretty clear cut if you want to use it, if you want to read through it. And, uh, and have a better idea, but the gist of it is that uh, the whole code is open source, but uh, the Relic Hunter's brand, the Relic Hunter's name, uh, the Relic Hunter's characters and art and sound, these things are still ours, okay? So uh, we have included all of the art and audio files for uh, Relic Hunter Zero, of course, uh, not only for modding, but to make things easier, you can use those to prototype but please do not include these in your commercial things, okay? You're not allowed to use our uh, our game's brand. But the rest of it, the code, the whole thing that's yours, uh, go wild with it. And hopefully, uh, today I'm going to, in the following videos, that in just a few minutes, you, if you're someone who never uh, meddled with game development before, you can take this code, and if you follow my tutorials, you're going to make, you're going to be making interesting stuff of your creation in a matter of one hour, maybe. We can get, we can get a gun done in one hour if you just follow me. Okay. Challenge accepted. Let's do this. So the first thing you want to do is you head back to the, that link, which I just provided you. And we're going to download the code. Of course, if you are a programmer, if you know how to use online repositories such as GitHub, you can just sign in. We're always looking for help. Okay, uh, if you want to make changes to the to the repository, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, but if you don't have experience, just download a zip. Just click here. It's going to be. Uh, I don't remember how big it is, so I'm just going to download to check it out. So uh, it's starting to download here. Forgive my Brazilian internet. I just won't wait for this to <laughs> to completely download. 
or we're going to be here the whole day. So uh, yeah, it should be around 200 megs or something like that, if I'm if I'm not wrong. So you just download that. So uh, only having the project files is not enough. You need to download the Game Maker, Game Maker Studio, to to make that happen. So I have provided you with the download links for Game Maker, which is right here. Letting it load. So Game Maker Studio is 100% free. Okay, don't worry. You don't have to buy Game Maker to be able to do things with Bradley Conkers. Okay. So where is the download? Game Maker. Get Game Maker. Okay. This is it. <laughs> We're learning as we go, people. So there we go. So you see, uh, you don't need to have the pro version because we have ev everything we we want right here. So just click download, big green button is going to ask you for registration. So here, yeah, it's completely safe. Like a game maker won't spam you or do anything inappropriate with your info. Just make an account and uh, you don't need to fill this up. Okay. This is only if you had a license beforehand. Just put an email. A valid email that you use, your password, uh, enter here, for example, 863, if that's what's showing up, accept everything. If you don't want to receive any kind of email from GameMaker, just click this and register, okay? So uh, after that, you should be taken to a download, and then you can install GameMaker, and everything should be fine. If you have any doubts about the registration process, if you go to the written tutorial uh, that's also linked in the description you will find that uh, I have included some licensing information so just check here if you have any it should be pretty straightforward it should be easy okay so after you have downloaded Game Maker Studio and you have unzipped the project files you got from github at whatever you want in your computer it's time for us to open it so you go, if you open Game Maker Studio, you're going to find these two big buttons here. Just click Make. And uh, now we have to locate the files, that uh, the project files that we have downloaded. So we're just going to navigate there by clicking this Open tab right here. And only the first time okay uh, after you open the first time it's going to be right here so it's going to be easy but the first time you click open and then we're going to navigate to whatever we want in our computer that we have placed our project files so in my case I have placed the project files here and right here so you're going to find uh, the folder where you have unpacked the, the project files will contain this file named relichunter0.project.gmx so this is what you want to open so make sure it is correct and click open so the first time this process here it's going to take several minutes uh, depending on your computer uh, but do not worry because uh, as you open the project uh, later it's going to be much faster so for us right now it should be about uh, 30 seconds to a minute but if the first if it's the first time you're opening it's, it may take several minutes so don't freak out it's normal just wait and it should be unless it just freezes somewhere in that case you just try and open it again but uh, it should it shouldn't happen don't worry so uh, here we are in uh, Game Maker Studio uh, and what we have to do now is just play the game to see if everything is working fine so uh, to play the game you just click this little green button here which will run the game so again if it's the first time you're running it will take several several minutes uh, but after that it's going to be much faster so don't worry so now that you have the project files, we can move on to other stuff. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to uh, know more about how to make out things inside the, the Relic Hunters project, keep watching the videos and also come to our forums. 
We have some really nice people there. It's rallycounters.com.br slash forums. So uh, if you are creating something that you want to share, uh, if you want to see what kinds of things other people have created, if you have a question, just come by the forums. I, I know that me and everyone else in the community will be more than happy to answer you. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, be on the watch for the next videos in the series. We're going to make a weapon. So, see you.